In my previous video, I spoke about how to save money while you spent money on clothes. So that video was all about smart spending. Today's video is a bit of a continuation and it's about how to look expensive on a budget. So what I'm sharing with you today is just little things that you can do to make yourself look a bit more expensive for cheap. And before we get into this video, a little bit of housekeeping. Please don't forget to do all of the things. Please like, subscribe and comment below. If you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear what you got out of it and what hit home for you the most. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified when my new videos come out. Your continued support helps me greatly and I am very grateful. All right, let's get started with my tips on how to look expensive on a budget. Tip number one to look expensive on a budget is to take care of your clothes and respect them. I'm not gonna dive into the little details of this one today because I'm gonna make a separate video on it. I think it deserves its own video because I have so many tips and tricks on how to take care of your clothes. But just keep that in mind. If you take care of your clothes and treat them with respect, you will look more expensive. And it will also make your clothes last longer, which will help with your budget. Tip number two on how to look expensive on a budget is to follow the rule, less is more. Always have in the back of your head, less is more, less is more, if you're really wanting to look expensive, which is fantastic when it comes to addressing the word budget, because we like to hear less, so we get to spend less. If you want to look more expensive as a whole, steer clear of crazy patterns and colors, keep things neutral, opt for neutral colors, earthy tones, lots of creams and blacks. Monochromatic outfits often have a real expensive feel to them. So like an outfit that is all black or an outfit that is all beige. I would avoid neon colors if you're wanting to look really expensive, unless they kind of make your skin tone pop and they really work for you, then that's a great thing. But they tend to look a bit cheaper and not as expensive than your neutral palettes. And when thinking about less is more, opt for minimal jewelry things that are kind of dainty not too loud and over the top you can get a lot of small kind of cheap pieces that people could think are from anywhere because they're just very plain and simple minimal understated jewelry is the way to go if you want to look more expensive on a budget tip number three to look more expensive on a budget is that you don't need designer to look expensive if you think that you can only look expensive if you wear a lot of designer labels and show all the labels out to everyone to express that you are expensive then you've got things wrong. You don't need to be spending money that you don't have on designer things. There are two things that you can do instead. Instead, you can look at designer items that you like and then find an alternative. Everything is copied these days, sadly. It is sad, but it's the sad truth. So if you wanna look more expensive on a budget, find those designer items and find good dupes. For example, things that are trending right now, like tweed, you could do Chanel tweed, or you could find tweed copied somewhere else and get the tweed look for a lot cheaper. A trench coat is also a good example of this, the classic Burberry trench coat. Yes, it's beautiful. It's also over a thousand dollars. That's like my rent for a month. So that's not gonna happen. You can find lots of good copies of this trench coat, particularly now it's very on trend, very in fashion. So just keep an eye out for things like that. The other thing that you can do, if you really want designer, you can get it secondhand. I think there's quite a few websites that sell designer secondhand items. I don't actually shop on them myself, so I'm not really sure. But this shirt that I'm actually wearing today is vintage designer. So I went to a vintage designer sale. I lined up for an hour. I went in, came out with a couple of beautiful silk shirts, including this one. I think this one was like $40. That's crazy. That's what I want to be paying. It's vintage. It's gorgeous. I don't think anyone around is wearing it. I left with a few pieces that day. I loved shopping that day. That was a crazy sale. Bitches be crazy. Anyway, I left. I didn't fight with anyone, I promise. And yeah, I didn't have to pay a lot of money for some beautiful pieces that I think I'll have for the rest of my life. So keep that in mind as well, that there are other options out there. If you do want designer pieces, you don't have to pay full price. Tip number four on how to look expensive on a budget is to avoid items that you know you will not wear. And the way that you can do this is to know what items flatter you and what items don't. For this tip, you do have to spend a little time researching. You do have to spend a little time trying things on. From experience working in retail, a lot of people don't take things off the shelf because they think, oh, I've, I, I, I've never worn anything like that before. Like that wouldn't look good on me. And I go and get it 
and bring it into them and say, just try this on, like see what it looks like. Um, and pop it with those jeans that you're wearing or pop it with that top that you're wearing. And they put it on, they're like, oh, actually this kind of looks cool. So from my experience in working in retail, that happens so much. So when you're going into a store, grab things off the shelf that you wouldn't usually get. Grab things that maybe scare you a little bit. Don't take them all into the change room thinking that you are going to love everything on yourself because it just doesn't work that way. You probably will hate most of it, but there might be that one thing that you see and you're like, wow, that actually looks really good on me. Or like, I love the way I feel in this outfit. And you never would have chose it if you didn't just keep your mind open to anything. You don't know until you try. I think that's my biggest tip here is to just grab things and see what it looks like and just be ready for anything. And don't be so hard on yourself. We can't look good in everything. It's just not the way the world works. So try lots of different things. Find out what shapes are good for you, what colors are good for you, what vibe is good for you, what stores are good for you, and then roll with it. Once you find things that flatter your body and your shape, you will in turn ooze with confidence and poise, which then makes you look more more expensive. The way we hold ourselves can make us look more expensive. Simply wearing something with confidence can make all the difference in an outfit. And if you need help finding out what flatters you the most, ask a friend, find someone who will go shopping with you, someone you trust, and ask them what things they think look great on you and what things don't. Don't take everything they say as Bible though, because you really should think about how an item makes you feel when you put it on. If someone says, hey, I don't think that's the greatest shape on you, but you feel just amazing and incredible and confident and empowered and drop dead gorgeous in it, but someone else says something like, mm, maybe not, that's their opinion. If you feel good, go with it, trust your gut. If you are still struggling with confidence after this, I encourage you to fake it until you make it. This is a little bit of like the law of attraction, act the way you want to feel, what you give out, you will receive back. So if you walk down the street, faking it, feeling like you're really confident, shoulders back, head up high, eyes up, strutting down the street, it will eventually rub off and you will eventually feel good. And if you accidentally trip or if the wind blows and gets all stuck in your lip gloss, like just laugh it off. Who cares? Are you ever gonna see those people ever again? Mm -mm, probably not. Don't take yourself so seriously and see how your confidence oozes. Tip number five to look more expensive on a budget is to maintain your grooming. And by no means do I mean weekly salon trips or having your nails done all the time. I personally have nothing on my nails most of the time. I just file them and keep them a nice shape and go for plain. Once again, it's less is more. That looks more expensive than a really bright color or something that's gonna chip off really quickly. Getting your nails done and your hair done all the time, it's money wasting traps. These are places that you spend a lot of money and you could really, really save a lot if you didn't do these things regularly. If you wanna look more expensive on a budget, I suggest that you find ways to do these for yourself to save money. So for your nails, stop getting them done, paint them yourself, always have nail polish remover handy at home. So if you have chipped nails, you can get it right off or just go for the plain nail like me. Like it's really not that bad. A bare nail, in my opinion, is classier and elegant than anything that's painted. Another grooming tip to look more expensive on a budget is to find an updo hairstyle that suits you and that is really classy and elegant. So for me, I love doing a middle part and a low bun. I've spoken about this before on my channel. This is my go-to dirty hairstyle look, but it's also my classy hairstyle look. I also think a low ponytail can be really classy as well and a low ponytail looped through can be really classy. You can just find whatever hairstyle suits you. And when you're wanting to look more expensive, try a classy updo look. Tip number six to look more expensive on a budget is to tailor your clothes that don't fit. If you have something hanging in your closet that you love, but doesn't quite fit right, that is a waste of money. Go get it tailored. Tailoring does not actually cost that much and makes your clothes fit you, which then makes you look more expensive. Having tailored jackets, tailored pants, tailored suits, this will all help make you look like your clothes were made for you. When you think about it, tailoring an item you already have is cheaper than buying a whole new item. If you have a great pair of heels or boots that have worn down because you have worn them to death, 
go get the soles repaired. This is cheaper than buying a new pair of shoes and if you love them that much, you know you'll continue to love them. Tip number seven to look more expensive on a budget is to consider investing in basics for the long-term gain. I spoke about this in my previous video a little bit, so I'll just touch on it, but I know spending more on basics, it doesn't really sound great in terms of budgeting, but in the long-term you will end up spending less because your clothes will last you longer and they won't look worn down or out of shape after just a few washes. Worn out clothes and misshaped t-shirts that you know, cost you $5 from Target, they do look less expensive. So consider buying something that is a bit more expensive that will last you longer in the long term that you won't have to keep replacing and it will help you to look more expensive. So you might have to experiment with different brands to know the quality of items and how long they last, but just take a note of what brands last for a long time in your wardrobe and what brands don't tend to last after you've washed them a few times. Tip number eight to look expensive on a budget is to opt for classics rather than trend pieces. Classic items will last you for years in your wardrobe, if not forever, but trendy pieces tend to go out of fashion really quickly and you spend a lot of money on them one year and then the next year you're like bye bye money and you don't wear that piece ever again. Plus in my opinion classic pieces can actually look more expensive anyway. So try opting for some high quality classic pieces in your wardrobe that will last you forever. Okay, tip number nine for how to look expensive on a budget is to try to wear some of the following items. In my opinion, these items can give a real expensive look. So that includes blazers, long camel coats, tailored trousers, ones that have pleats at the front. I think that's gorgeous. Structured bags, a little black dress, turtlenecks, lipstick, a white on white outfit, or a beautiful white button down shirt. And of course, if you haven't seen my previous video, you must go watch that now. I will link it above and below. I give you so many tips on how to spend smartly and how to save money when buying clothes. There is so much value in that video. I will link it above and below for you to watch. Thank you so much again for your continued support and for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Happy styling. Hey guys, I'm wearing a shirt and no pants. Oh, I've lost the feeling in my toes.